Hey, welcome back. It's Tom here, AT Performance YouTube channel, and today we've got a slightly different video to what we normally do, and this is on a car that I've taken in part exchange. It's six years old, it's done 50,000 miles, which is kind of the limit for us. Normally we're, you know, under four years, under 40K, something like that. But this car is, well, I will show you in a minute, but the specification on it, I couldn't actually believe when I received it, and I was like, quite excited about it. So we're going to run a video series on this where we're going to prepare the car, take you through the whole journey of how we can transform a car that perhaps needs a little bit of love into something that we're really happy to retail ourselves. It's a car that we normally would have probably traded out to another dealer that dealt with slightly older, slightly higher mileage cars, but due to the spec, I'm really excited to get into this. So this is the car in question, it's a 2016 Panamera GTS, which is powered by a 4.8 litre V8 engine, producing 440 horsepower. Being a GTS, it's already got a really good factory spec, but this car, as I mentioned, has got 28,000 pounds worth of optional equipment. So let's take a look. So here we are. Well, I'm so excited by the spec of this car, which is why we thought we'd make a whole feature of it. Let me just run through quickly some of the optional equipment. Total price of optional equipment, £28,004. I mean, that is very, very impressive, especially as it doesn't have the carbon ceramic braking system, which is normally six, 7000 on its own. Four-way climate control for each passenger and the driver. We've also got front and rear heated and climate seats, so nice air-conditioned seating. Dynamic chassis control, we have rear seat entertainment, so we've got the screens back there, the LED lights, dynamic lighting system, interior package with the two-tone leather, which is nice, garnet red. I have the same red, actually, in my McCann. Loads of sport design uh, body accessories, so the rear apron, the side skirts. We've got color-coded air vents. We've got the Bose audio system, uh, front and rear park assist with the surround view and reverse camera, which is which is quite nice to see. Normally you don't get all of that together. Uh, keyless entry and go. Uh, steering wheel rim stitching in red, 522 pounds to have red stitching on that. Someone was very happy when they spec this car and they got very happy with the options. We've got lane change assist, we've got white dials, lane departure warning, privacy glass, interior lighting package in the rear. We've got voice control, rear side airbags, Porsche crests on the front and rear seats, rear wiper, which is an option you see on sometimes on 911s, six disc CD and DVD changer, tilt slide sunroof, TV tuner. That brings us to a grand total for this car when it was new of 121,395 pounds for this car. That was just six years ago and someone, or uh, three people in fact, have covered just 50,000 miles in it. Once we're finished with this car, we're probably going to advertise it at 39,999, which means you could save yourself 80,000 pounds by just waiting six years and 50,000 miles to own this car. I mean, that is pretty special. So usually speaking, most of our cars require very little preparation. They're, they're purchased from owners that really look after them and cherish them throughout their ownership. And they're also not usually as old as, as, as these, this car here. So what we want to do is try and restore this car to absolute best, almost the same as the day it left the showroom. And to do that, we're going to have to quite extensively machine polish the paintwork because that's become quite dull. I'm sure Reagan will show you shortly with a cinematic. Um, rear tail lights, of, of dulled slightly as well, so we can restore those and we can lock that in um, once we've finished with that. There is some marks to the alloy wheels. The car needs a spark plug service to bring it up to date because it's six years old. It's not actually due any oil maintenance until next year because there's two year gaps, but as it's due, we're gonna get that taken care of. And we just wanna bring you along on the journey because it's not something we do that often. We did it with the Escort Cosworth a little bit where we, restoration to it and little bits of maintenance just to to bring the car up and make it complete. So that's what we're gonna do. So stay tuned to the rest of this series where we're gonna take you on the journey with us and bring the beast of a Panamera back to its best.